So Jack, a 3-1 victory at home the first of the season. How do you feel after that? Happy with three points. I think it took us till April last year to win a home game in the league. So we're obviously, we've uh, got that monkey off our back quite soon. But yeah, obviously delighted with three points. That was the main objective at the start of the game. But I didn't think we were great. I thought first half we were really casual on the ball, really sloppy, giving the ball away quite a lot under no pressure. When we did then have time and space, we were too eager to then take the ball into trouble and drive into where the press was coming from, where the block was coming from, which didn't help either. I'm just too reactive for second ball. So I thought when we scored that second goal just before half time, that actually got us out of jail a wee bit because I thought we were quite poor at that particular point. And um, we scored a good goal um, just before half time, which obviously then changes the complexion of the game a little bit. And then we mentioned at half time about the fact that they obviously come out to start the second half and try and go for the game quite a bit. And I thought we managed that okay again without play playing. I didn't think particularly well. Um, I didn't think Aberdeen played at their best either, so I thought it was a little bit of a scrappy game. We then obviously get the three-goal lead, which I think then you probably see the maybe the nature of a, a young team that hasn't won many games because we didn't really handle that particularly well, and we then started getting really deep and really loose again in possession, and poor goal to then concede to go to 3-1. And then we obviously then put ourselves under a little bit of pressure to try and see the game out, which thankfully we did. So, yeah, I, I would have taken 3-1 at the start of the game, but... I probably wasn't massively overjoyed with anything that actually went on during the 90 minutes, to be honest. Yeah, and yet again, three different goal scorers. How important is it for the, not always to just be that one solo striker? 100%. We obviously, Hannah's doing an amazing job for us playing up front. The moment isn't an actual position, so we do need everyone to make sure they chip in for, uh, sorry, with goals from different areas of the pitch. And Kate and Olivia, as far as I'm aware, their first goals in senior football today, which is obviously great as well. So, yeah, delighted for them on an individual level and another goal for Erin. She's... She's obviously offered a lot for us and we spoke quite a lot about her trying to arrive in the box and add goals to our game. She's obviously doing that for us. So, yeah, good to spread the goals out. Disappointed we didn't get the clean sheet, but like I say, 100% would have taken the three points in any way, shape or form before the game. Looking forward, we've obviously got Partick Thistle next week in the Sky Sports second round. How do you feel going ahead of that? A massively difficult game. They obviously beat us 2-1 the first game. Probably shot ourselves in the foot a little bit at the start of the game and then after that I thought we actually did quite well, but yeah, it's probably a tough game to get obviously in the first stage of the competition um, and probably were I guess similar in the moment on similar points and similar both of us probably thinking in the league we maybe haven't picked up as many points as we would be due so I don't expect anything other than an exceptionally tough game next week I think we need to be absolutely our best to get anything from the game um, and yeah that's what we need to obviously try and do.